Good morning. My name is Nick and this is Otto, my co-star. He uh, loves to ride in bags and he loves to play with this bag and really kind of jump into it. And so I just figured I'd bring him out there today see if he'll... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. This is the Tieto Permaculture Vlog. Uh, just having a little bit of fun because uh, it's a little later than I'm usually out here because uh, today's the day I get to actually sit here and work on the homestead most of the day. So today we're going to tackle a bunch of projects actually. So this is probably going to end up being a split vlog. I'll probably end up having it uh, covered. I'll probably do up to a certain project and then I'll do another vlog for the rest of it because I'm just going to be doing a lot of work today. And if I did one vlog, it'd probably be like an hour plus. So. At least in this first half, the plan is to take this lumber and everything, and we're going to work on the little ramp project that I have uh, for to prepare for the baby chicks to come. So uh, I need to basically make sure they can walk up and access the, the coop area since it is up off the ground. So I'm going to try a little something. Hopefully it works, and uh, we'll, see, we'll see where we get to. And uh, yeah, since we have a lot to do, without further ado, let's get started. Here's auto inspecting. Yesterday's work, uh, if you didn't see that, I'll leave that linked above. We basically cleaned up that bed up there uh, and I laid down these uh, banana, banana leaves into the pathway and those will slowly break down. They'll turn into uh, future mulch, compost material or whatever else we want to use for it. So, all right, so I have been in here already today into the chickens because I've been doing a little bit of measurements to prepare. So you can see where mama's standing right now and there, there's a bunch of gaps there and the chicks, there's no way they're going to be able to move up and down this to actually get back up to their nest, which is in this nest box here. So they're currently, mama's sitting right behind this, this door right here or behind that piece of plywood. So she is there and we need to make sure that when she has her chicks that she can move up and down without stressing too much about them actually making it up and down. So we're basically going to take a piece of plywood, we'll put it underneath. And uh, I'll probably add a couple little stepping areas for the chicks. And then I gotta go inside the coop and actually make a little platform in there. So that's gonna be the plan today. That's what we're doing. And uh, we'll get started with that in just a second. I'm actually gonna go let the, open up the gate down below so that the chickens can escape. Cause I'll be in there a lot in and out. So I want them to be able to move out and go to their dust bath and uh, just kind of have some, have some space if they wanna get away from me for a minute. Looks like mama's, mama's up there about to lay an egg maybe. The other mama who's not sitting. But the rooster is still coming over here and checking everything out. He's trying to call over his mama, his chick, his little call. But it'll get a little, uh, little, little, man, little man time over here. It'll be good. And of course, now you can hear other mamas freaking out. Typically that's the noise she make when she's about to lay an egg, so. She's probably getting ready for that. Hey, Mama. What's your What's the deal? What's going on? You can go down if you want. It's open down there. Go ahead. Oh, here comes the gallant gentleman to make sure Mama is happy. You see him pick up that that weed for her. That's sweet. Hey, Mama. Hi, Mama. <gasps> Look at there, guys. Look at there. We already have a baby chick. We have one already. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Or he. Mama, good job. Good job, Mama. Oh, wow, you're so amazing. You have a baby. Oh, that is so exciting. I really need to get on this then. I gotta get Katie out here. She's gonna freak out. Again, I can't just hold that for myself and show her later on the vlog. Yeah, come here. Put on shoes to go into the coop. Very exciting day for us here. Un unknown exciting day. We didn't know it was gonna be an exciciting day. Katie's ready to come out and check out the... She's gonna get on video. I already got on video, but she'll get it for herself. Just stick your head in. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Okay. I can't see 
Oh my god, I do see them. <gasps> There's just one, right? Is there two? Do you see Just one, right? <laughs> Mama's also excited to check it out. She's up there seeing what's going on. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay, you're seeing if she can see anything. I mean, she's not letting me see anything. Yeah. She's puffed up. Um, oh my god, that little chicky! Did you get it on some yeah. video? Yeah. Oh, it's so cute! I'm so excited! <laughs> wow, that was earlier than I than we thought. Yeah, I thought it was going to be this weekend, but here we go. We weren't 100% sure when she started sitting. Uh, I thought it was a Saturday, but it could have been a couple days before because she seemed to be kind of going in and out <laughs> on and off the egg nest for a little while. So, it's a little unsure. Okay. You see I'm holding the rooster here because uh, Katie was just a little, a little unsure. Just a little unsure if the rooster would attack because she's not wearing any sort of boots oh or anything. Gosh, so she's just wearing her, cute. her shoes in here. So, and the rooster doesn't really, the rooster doesn't really attack her, but, but uh, the rooster will kind of peck a little bit just because he's not as used to her coming in as much as me. So, I'll put you down now. Good boy. Yeah, you're tough. You're a tough boy. Lots of commotion here today, but we understand why now. There's a new chick here, so, so that just makes my uh, my need to get this ramp project done even more extreme. So we gotta start on that now. So I'm gonna bring some materials over, and we'll kind of start looking at it. Go ahead. All right. So I'm just gonna measure here figure out how long I need to make it. Maybe a little bit under there, a little bit under there. So five feet. So I gotta cut my board at five feet and then we'll place it underneath. And then we'll add any sort of little stepping stones or stepping kind of rungs for them to climb up. Since they're gonna be so little baby. This board just happens to be uh, the right width. All right, this is just a scrap piece I had sitting around from all, all my carpentry projects. And just happens to be the perfect width. So I'm just gonna mark five and five on each side here. Have a little piece of wood to draw a line all the way across just to give me a, a guide. Of course, adding my me being the safety guy, pretty much all my jobs I've been like the safety guy. So, of course, adding in my earplug, and my combo uh, sunglasses and safety glasses, rated to be for safety as well. Set the guide to three quarter inches. This is actually a half inch, but I just usually go one quarter inch over whatever I'm cutting through. And since this is not quite stable, I just gotta remember that as I'm cutting. There's my board. Okay, kitty. Got the proud father checking out his new offspring. Just wanted to be near the mamas anyway, but I'm gonna say that he's looking at his his new babies. He's now a father, officially. Just like that. I just gotta screw that in and we'll have a ramp. Alright, ramp is on. I just need to add a couple more little spacers so they can actually walk across here. Six rungs to add on to the add on to our ladder here. Here is the result. It's basically, I mean, it's pretty makeshift. You can see it's not like a, the prettiest thing in the world, but it works, I think. We'll find out if it works, but 
Now they have a uh, kind of a base that they can kind of fall onto and walk up. Uh, it's a little bit slick, so I did add a bunch of these little stepping bits out of just scrap wood that I have. It's all scrap, Nothing. none of this is actually like new stuff. It's just stuff I had laying around that I cut up a little bit more. So I'm hoping this will help the chicks get up. So I'm gonna have to watch it for a little while um, before I actually know it actually works. I gave mama some, uh, the mama with chicks a little bit. I basically soaked the feed a little bit, their feed. So it gets a little soft, it's a little easier to digest. So I figure she can eat some right there. I brought her some nice fresh water down there in the blue blue bin. And I figured the chicks, if they get hungry and mama wants them to eat something, they have that nice soaked feed that they can eat really easy to digest because it's already been soaked. It's more like a mush than anything else. So should be good for them. Meanwhile, all the mama's probably about to pop her egg out. She seems to be getting into that little, little fit of moving around a lot. So Rooster's down here, very interested in everything. Want to make sure everyone's okay. He's always close by. You can see he keeps looking up to see if he can see what, see what's going on. I think he's used to this being open. So now that it's not, he's a little bit confused as to how to get up there without with me in the way here. Because I usually would go underneath there and then jump up through. But it's a little bit different now. Go ahead. Good boy. Next thing I'm going to do is gonna try to add a little platform up actually in here so that when the chicks come out, they have somewhere to land onto that's not the chicken wire so they don't fall through. All right, so at this point, I'm trying to just add a little bit of a landing so they come up here, they can walk up to this point and then onto this first platform and then to your second platform here. So I have two just big old scrap pieces of plywood in here that I've kind of laid out. All right, and pretty makeshift, but it works. This nice little platform here for the chicks to come out on. The main part of the build done. And we'll see if they actually, uh, this actually works. You know, this actually helps and helps them get up. Very exciting that we already have a chick, Scott. Just that, that's still, it's still blowing my mind that they're already here. I didn't, or at least one of them is here. I didn't even realize, so. Very exciting, very exciting for me. All right, guys, that's it for this part of today's vlog. Uh, I am gonna keep working today, so uh, there will be more content coming out for today, or probably not today. I'm probably not gonna release it, but uh, I'm gonna hopefully prep and build a compost pile. So hopefully that'll be, you'll be seeing that either the next day or uh, maybe later than another one today. We'll, we'll just kind of see how it, pl how it plays out um, and how much work I actually get done. Uh, since the chick is here, at least I got this project done. That, that was my main concern before the chicks came. And obviously I, I'm a little late on that because the chick's already here, but uh, they'll be just fine, I think. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna watch and see how this works for them today. And uh, while I'm out here, and as I continue working to prep for this compost pile, this whole pen area will look very different next time you see it, hopefully. If you do like what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me get more reach and have a little bit of motivation to keep going on these things. Uh, very excited, I'm so happy you guys got to see the, uh, the, the chick uh, right when I did. That was literally a complete surprise to me. I had no idea the chick was here. So I'm glad you guys got to see that and participate in that little exciting bit. Actually hear them peeping away. So maybe on the outro, of course, Mama Hen's gonna have something to say about it, but maybe on the outro today, you'll see a little chick peeping away. We'll see. And uh, yeah, hope you all have a good day, good, uh, Good weekend. I guess it's, it'll probably be Friday when I release this out to the public. So, you uh, hope you have a good weekend coming up. And uh, until next time, have a good one.